as I said, it, it's uh, Revolution Radio. You're listening to Free Association. Uh, my name's Dennis Barker. You can find me online in a few places. Uh, there's a Discord server for the radio show, which is Free Association Radio Show Live on Discord. There's also a Reiki server called Reiki Initiation on Discord. Uh, I've got a website, freeassociationradioshow.com. There's a, a Reiki website as well, which is reikimasterinitiation.com. There are other places as well you can find me. Uh, imaginationcreatesreality.live is one of those places. And there's also cancercuremastermindgroup.com. I think that's everything for the time being. On Twitter, I'm Dennis Barker. Uh, Revolution Radio is listener supported, so if you've got $5 a month that you can spare or just a one-off donation, head over to revolution.radio. You'll find there's a Patreon button uh, near the top of the page. Uh, you can sign up as a monthly subscriber. Uh, donate what you can. The archives are free. Uh, you'll find a lot of good material in the archives. Uh, take a look at Bruce McDonald's show, McDonald in the Morning. Um, Into the Microcosm is good as well. Mona's show is usually good. Uh, so feral, The Adventures of a Feral Hippie, you'll find Mona on the in the archives as well. What else do I listen to that's normally reasonably good? Um, Perfect Triangle is quite good. There's, there's a few different things. There's things that I like, things that I don't like. Sometimes the shows are, the round tables are quite good. I don't agree with a lot of a lot of the stuff that's on, that people say on the round tables, but it's, it's their right to say what they say. Um, and my right to say what I say. Uh, and that's why I like being here. I like, I like the idea that I can just say things the way that I that I feel, and see the world in the way that I see the world. I'm not going to labour the point, and I don't normally go into politics very much on this show. A little bit here and there, but not too much. Um, I was in a a bar yesterday with my mate Bruce. Well, not Bruce. What am I talking about? Bruce is another mate. Um, Jeff, my mate Jeff, and uh, we were having a conversation about the radio show and about how how copyrights are dealt with on YouTube, because I, I played a little bit of Monty Python a couple of weeks ago now, and then I posted the video to YouTube, and they, and they, they logged a, a copyright infringement on it, because I'd used... About four minutes I used of Monty Python, Mr. Hilter, which is it's very it's a very amusing sketch, uh, and it fitted with a story that I that I was talking about previously, because there was a there was a link to it. Anyway, that was that was accidental, but it was a good link, and uh, I took out I took out four minutes where the where the video was showing on the recording, and they and they've let it go, but I've still got the audio on there, so. If you want to listen to the shows from from last week, from a couple of weeks ago, there's there's shows going back to March and April on on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you look for Open Philosopher or Free Association Radio Show on YouTube, you'll find the the channel, and you can listen to to all the material that I'm putting out. Plus, there's some extra material on YouTube that that I don't use on the Saturday show. There's a there's not that much material, but there's there's 20 minutes here and there that are that's not from the Saturday show. And I, I sometimes get inspirations during the week to make videos. And I sometimes get inspirations to share other people's videos. So I do that on the YouTube channel and in the Discord chat. Uh, so you're welcome to to pop along to any of those places. But moving swiftly on, getting back to hypnosis. Uh, as I said, we were talking about mesmerism last week. This week, I want to share a video 
from a guy called Dr. David Snyder, who's an acupuncturist and hypnotherapist. And he does neuro linguistic programming and martial arts and all sorts of things. But I wanted, I've, I've been watching a lot of his material. And one of the things that I do with this show is share what I'm interested in. So hopefully point people in a direction that they may not have got to themselves or just share things that I've found useful. Um, there's a, a video I want to share. I'm going to share about 10 minutes of this video, which is uh, David Snyder talking about conversational hypnosis. Uh, normally he gives his bio and his website and everything at the beginning. I'm going to leave that on. But I'm going to stop it before he goes into the hypnotic induction because I don't think it's... It's a particularly good idea to play those on the radio. Can't tell what people are doing. So, if you want, if you want to look at the full video, it's on his it's on his YouTube channel, which is Dr. David Snyder on YouTube. I'm just going to play this now. Hopefully, the screen share will have worked and we'll be able to hear it. Let me know if you can't hear it in the chat room, uh, and because I need the feedback to make sure everything's working properly. Here we go. This is David Snyder. a second and just see if I can hear myself because I don't want to go too far in. I don't mind playing a minute here and there but I want to be able to hear myself so I don't know what's going on with this. Studio B player isn't giving me anything really. I'm about a minute behind, so that might be why. There we go, I'm about a minute behind, so that's all right. At least I know it wasn't playing, so that's, uh, that's something else I'll need to sort out. It never works the first time around. So let's go back and share screen again. Sharing and share sound, start sharing again. Okay, try it again. Uh, this time from where, where we left off. It's about a minute in. AKA five, four, three, two, one. Now he's got to think about that every time he says that. Hmm? Hmm? Now, the way this works is it's, it's based on a concept called pacing and leading. How many of you actually know what pacing, what a pace is and what a lead is? Uh, like in dance? Well, what is a pace in dance? Pace is that uh, you're following uh, you're following the music, the point of the rhythm of the music, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you're just following the pace and then you're following the steps. And okay. As long as you're doing that, you're doing okay. In this context, no, that's not what a pace is. Yeah. No. Um, <clears throat> so your name your name is David, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you're an adult, correct? Okay, you're showing me what a pace. That's actually not pace, but that's it's a, so. That's not pacing. There, therefore, therefore, you have adult responsibilities, correct? Isn't no. That what it is? No. I thought that like you like get something that you can lead them into like. 
What was my question? What is you know, a pace? What, what is pace? What is a pace? Okay. A what pace is, is something that's um, viewed as true. Okay. If we're going to start working in the terminology, we really need to understand what we're dealing, what we're talking about. In, in the context in which Eric learned pacing, the concept of pace has to do with the tempo, the rhythm, and the speed of the music. Tangentially related, but not specific enough to what we're doing. Okay? A pace, from our, for our perspective, is anything in the environment, or actually anything that is sensorily or cognitively verifiable as true. It's a truism. Either a truism that we can verify through our five senses or something that we can through our awareness internally directed or externally directed verify. Okay? Give me an example of a pace based on this criteria, Eric. Um, I believe in God. No. Um, uh, something that is. Uh, a rose smells sweet. Okay. Is there anything in this room that is a pace? You're sitting on a chair. I'm sitting on a chair. Yeah. Can we verify that he's sitting on a chair? Bet your butt. Barbara, give me another another element or phenomena that is verifiably true. Any object in the room. The TV. The TV is what? The TV is sitting on the trunk. This TV is sitting on the trunk. Notice how simple it was, but yet when you come to actually describe it, you have to actually... Think about it a little bit. Give me another pace. Well, I mean, the thing is, we're here to learn about paces and leads, but the question is, why is that map over there? What the hell is that? <laughs> that was a pace and a lead. What was the question? What was the what was the pace the, was we're all here to what, learn about what, paces and leads. Are we? Well, we are right now. Is that why we're here? Is that something? Is that a pace or is that a lead? Part of it would be we're all here. That's a pace. The lead would be to learn about X, right? We are all here, at least physically, right? Okay. Let's be really, really specific and precise with our terms, okay? As, as a hypnotist, language and the specificity and the vagueness of it are our stock in trade. We no longer deal in just random specificity and vagaries. We have to know what we mean and why we mean it, even when we're trying to be vague. Does that make sense? So when we pace, a pace must be something that we can verify. When you're communicating a pace to another person, it must be something they can verify. For instance, Barbara, you're sitting here looking at me, listening to my words, and you're having certain thoughts about those words. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> right? Were you, in fact, sitting here? Yes, I'm sitting here. Were you listening to what I was saying? I was listening. Okay. Were you, in fact, having certain thoughts? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty blank. <laughs> okay. But actually, the fact, the moment she went inside and started looking for a thought, that's a thought. Right? So you can verify it. Okay? Is that, was all of that a pace? Most of it was a pace, yeah. Okay? So as you're sitting here listening to me speak, noticing how I'm talking, paying attention to my voice inflections, and wondering where I'm going with all this. That was a big mm hmm And notice how your mind went there. Mm-hmm. Right? The magic of paces is that every time we were, this goes back to critical factor bypass. Uh, you'll remember in some of the earlier sessions, I've, I've described our critical factor as being this little man that gets a message 
and then runs back to the filing cabinet to find out if there's something that corresponds with that. When we start pacing, we start sending the little man back, and he keeps, ver he keeps finding truisms. And after a while, he stops running back and forth and just starts saying, well, everything they've said so far is true, so everything else must be true. Right? So the critical factor goes away. Okay? And then after a while, the little man can't tell the difference between what's a pace and what's a lead. He accepts everything, or she accepts everything, based on what we say. Okay? A lead is anything we want them to do. Okay, I think that might be enough. So, before we go into the... There we go. Let's, let's not worry about the actual induction too much. He's talk, when he's talking about leading and pacing, I don't really know what that is, but it makes sense in the context of what I do at work. Uh, it's telesales, so there's a lot of making statements that are true and then having a conversation with a potential customer. You, you're telling them things that are true and then taking them to the next place, which is imagine what your kitchen would look like if it was this or imagine what your house would look like with a new kitchen. So what I do is I, I use their own words. Yeah, entrainment would, would be another word for that, I think. Uh, it's kind of, it's moving people through a series of things that are true, and then the next thing is where you want them to go or what, what the behavior is you want to have. In my case at work, I'm looking for people to make an, make an appointment for somebody to go out and and measure up their kitchen. It's very, just a very simple example. So the conversation might might involve me finding out how old the kitchen is, and then telling that, then remind or reminding them how old the kitchen is. So they tell me how old the kitchen is, and then I I, do, I reinforce that. So it's reinforcing the need, which would be the the pace, the pace is the age of the kitchen. That's that's something that, that they know about, and they accept as true. And my and the lead is you're not getting me. You're not you're not hearing me. Well, let me unshare the screen and see if that makes a difference. I'm still here. Let me double check on the, the website again on the stream, see what we've got going on there. So just to make sure there's a Mercury retrograde going on. So technical issues will be a normal thing. But I haven't stopped talking and there's no, there's no uh, sound on there. So let me disconnect and reconnect. See if that makes a difference. <laughs> 